So here's a little something. Um, Facebook ads, which I tell you guys all the time, uh, Facebook changed their algorithms and it's just not paying off. We used to boost all of our ads for uh, $2,000 when we first put them up and it would eat that $2,000 in a day. And then when they changed their algorithms, it used to be that I would post $2,000 every day for three days. So it was six grand every time we'd run a sale. And it would make us about 50000 in sales off of Facebook. And now, with their algorithms having changed, they changed all that shit. And it takes about 10 to 15 days to eat up $2,000. And my sales usually only run about three days. Well, I didn't know how much we had actually spent. And I have an ongoing uh, ad that clicks up on the side. And uh, I'm getting billed about $1,000 a week for it. And I saw the bill come through. Um last night so it made me come and look here and i'm like you know what fuck facebook let's just turn this shit off where they don't you know it doesn't pay to advertise with facebook any longer so i clicked on it let me find it here i came back so i could show you all of it um manage pages create a group uh manage ads here we go so manage ad ads i was surprised to see you know it goes under your personal name Status active. $348,894 spent on Facebook. I've spent, like I tell you guys, I've spent well over a fucking quarter million dollars with Facebook. And then they changed their shit. And now people must have caught on and they're not advertising with them. Because every time I make a post once a day, Facebook sends me some pop-up saying, Hey, other companies like you or other pages like you you know, promoted their post and it, and they automatically go to 1500 bucks. Cause that's what I used to spend it at. So that that's, what's on the button automatically. And I can go up or down, but, uh, Facebook must be feeling it because they're sending pop outs, pop ups out every day. And, um, that's, that's what we've spent here. And, um, we won't be spending that with Facebook anymore. I'm actually recording. Okay, so these are the sandbags. And I said, next time boot camp gets in trouble, we're going to go up on the dock and we're going to throw these down and he's going to have to catch them. And then it turned into, what did you want to do? It was a a game that we came up with right when you made them. Is it could be two boxes that you stand in, however far apart. And you take turns thrown at each other catching it until one of them steps out the box. Or or can't throw it we can do that in the garage. Just tape two boxes on the yeah. floor. Or we could put two poles, two eight-inch poles in the pond, kind of the same thing, and you throw them back and forth trying to knock each other off the poles. How do we get the poles in the pond? Same way they put it here. We'd need, we'd with need a Jack fuck Garland. with a diver and a bunch of equipment. We need Jack Arnold to come down with a tracker and smash it into the ground. We have a diver. <laughs> we do have somebody that's been in the pond. He knows his way around. He's even had his hemoglobin slot shots. Yeah, he's familiar. He's familiar. <laughs> he's a familiar. We can install a diving board. That's what Baby had said. He goes, "Can we get a diving?" Like he was dead serious. Can we get a diving board? Have we even been up in there? In the pond? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we swam in the pond when we first filled it. We first filled yeah. it, yeah. Not for, since the frogs for, have taken over. For two thousand for two thousand dollars worth of water, we're goddamn well swimming in that fucking pond. <laughs> I saw a frog up there in this pit. I heard there was one in our in the old at the old house in the basement. Yes, there was. Did one it, it who house. got attacked? I actually thought I picked up I picked up the treadmill to start pushing on the front wheels and all of a sudden it's like it, it looked like a fish. Yeah, the cruise is like it's fish. There's, a fish here. I'm like, There's no fucking way. And then you hit it, and it did the same thing. And I'm like, holy shit, Curtis got a fish over there. But it turned out to be a frog. In the basin. It was, it was a pretty decent sized bullfrog, man. It was the size of my fist. Yeah, this is Tennessee, man. Whoever made these houses, like all those cinder blocks, those still have holes in them. Like, they don't fill those with anything here. Like, we had fucking big rat snakes get in the basement, uh-huh. and then they get up in the rafters of the basement, waiting for mice and shit. But those, like, there is always a way into a house in Tennessee. Yeah, there's there's a pretty big rat stick <clears throat> in your, well, in the old basement. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, he was on the top of the cinder blocks, just cruising around. I tried, We tried to catch him, but... I would take him out and let him go. He'd come back, or, you know, who knows if it's the same one or not, but... Sure All right. Twice it's been the same one. Probably. Exciting if we'd have 
Oh God. All right, we started back there. Get up there hurry. We're driving down, pushing down this road. Bad back. This bag is a uh, oh, it's a tool bag with 26 pounds of gravel in it. So we're just throwing it down the road here. And uh, hey, turn that off. Throwing it down the road here and uh, seeing how far it goes before it fails. That zipper is looking pretty chewed up. The gravels. Chew, gravels chewing in there. Right there. Come in here, Nick. So you start to see some wear in the material. The gravel poking through. There's a, a seam right there. Some thread. Yeah, we're, we're getting a little walking. The zippers there. looking a little. Yeah, that might not be able to zip past that, but. Chewed. Well, Tighten that back up. Put my nine mil, my, my, all my nine millimeters still in here. Okay, so if you had you put nine mil in there, you think some of it would have gone off? All the. All the gun guys are going to scream and be like, of course it would, but it has to be a perfect set of circumstances, right? So, maybe eventually we might get one to go off. And really, <laughs> even if it went off, it has to be even, even if it shot Curtis Pigman or Boot Camp, it's really, it really would just kind of leave a bruise because there was no barrel there. There's yeah, no velocity. Well, it has to be contained in a chamber for it to work properly. What was on me? Some sort of poop? No, that's a bug. That's false. It looks like some Oh, you know, it's, when they threw that up, it probably had some of that cold pat shit on there. Sebastian, catch it. No. Anybody think they can catch it? Curtis is going to catch it. Come on, no Curtis. fucking way. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Touchdown, bitch! Let's see this game of football you'll ever see. That'd be a man, that'd be a badass game of football right there. There's a bunch of chalk marks on the road now. I could be a you're male, still, male. You're boy. still t once again. You're still taking dicks. <laughs> Male whores no. in the United States are not fucking women. They are fucking other dudes. Jiggles. Once again. Which you're never going to be. Fucking other dudes. <laughs> it's not the same. So we got all the way here. This is where the bag failed. Prostitutes and female prostitutes. It's not the same. Again, we got I'm some holes in the Cordura. Oh, you know, we were gonna we were gonna lose this motherfucker anyways. Why what happened? There's a hole yeah, all the way through. Saying. We were, that material's getting ready but to This go. is where we failed at. Um seam came out. I'm guessing we're a half mile. They're back in the truck right now with the other camera. They zeroed it out. They're going to drive to us, and we'll see what the distance is. Glove up. What's up? Glove up. What's up, what's up, what's up? Glove up. Oh, yeah. All right, what's your strategy? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do black and then mix it in with the gray and then some red. Okay, which color are you gonna do first? Black. Why black? Because that's the color of my soul. Huh, here's your problem. You can't cover the black. Okay. Black will go over red and gray, but it won't go the other way. You can do it, you just have to be sure it's where you want it. And you need to do your edges and your ends first. So I would start with just a little bit of a little bit of stain on the black. Catch the edge. Flip it up on end. There you go. Now just rub that edge. Move it around while it's wet, and you can come back and smear it in later. This one is not a very good edge. No, that's why it has it has character. That's true. It's gonna look awesome in there. Those are wet boards. Mm -hmm. That's why I moved. No, Come on. Yeah. Move your material around. Move your move your chemical around. Flip it over. Get the other head. And they don't have to be perfect, man. We want we want imperfections. We want so character on them. Get a little more. And that edge is a lot rougher. Yeah. Be aware of, of where your drips are going and where your shoes are. Run it all the way out. That'll tell you how wet your rag is. 
Now, if you pull the opposite direction, because you can see the saw marks in it, if you pull or blot it down like you're like you're wringing it out, just blot it on. There you go. It'll suck it up. See? All right, get some more. Come on. This is a little easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, once you've done a couple of them, man, there's nothing to them. You'll know exactly what it's going to do by the pressure you apply. But don't don't rock this around too much. You'll get all these stains all over the place. Get 30 inch spinners and pit my ride. Go back in time. Go back to that light and save two box lines. 